Hi guys, thanks for coming back. This is the second in our series of messages called Made for More. We're talking about how we can experience more as Christians, as followers of Christ, than maybe we're already experiencing. You know, maybe you're at the top of your game and everything's going fantastic, but most of you would probably say, you know, I think I'm made for more than what I'm experiencing as a follower of Christ. And we're talking about how to be more as a church. Is this church all that it can be? Are, you know, is there more we can be doing? Of course there is. Uh, there's so many people that God wants us to reach, and so how can we achieve more as a church? Uh, today we're going to talk about moving from more volunteers to more masterpieces. I've been a pastor long enough to know how most churches work. Church, uh, church staff gets together and decides, you know, we need to have a children's department. We need to have a youth youth program, we need a worship band, we need, uh, we need ushers, you know, we need hosts, uh, we need tech people, um, we need people to work in the food, uh, hospitality, uh, the kitchen, uh, you know, and you kind of make lines, how many people you need to sign up for each of those, and then you go out and try to get people to, to fill in those spots, fill in volunteer slots. Um, <clears throat> So, but that's really not the way a church is supposed to work. But I want to, before I, I, I tell you a little bit more about how a church should work, I'd like you to turn to somebody in your group and discuss, do you feel like this church, Portland Community Church, mostly just kind of makes a bunch of slots and tries to get people in, or do you think we do it, uh, you know, really well with knowing people's spiritual gifts and their passions and their past and uh, try to help people find uh, the right way to serve? Okay, so the way the church should work is to not focus so much on filling slots. You know, we'll always have slots of, of people we need to help with this and that, but more work on realizing everybody is gifted by God and they have a calling from God and help them discover what their calling is. Listen, <coughs> excuse me, listen to what Paul writes in Ephesians 1.22. And God placed all things under his feet, that'd be Jesus, and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body. So the church is Christ's body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. So the mission of the church is to go into all the world and fill everything with the fullness of Jesus. As we experience Jesus in our lives, we experience his love, we experience his word, we see answers to prayer, uh, then we're full of Jesus, and then wherever we go, we're to fill uh, every crook and, cranny, crook and cranny with Jesus. And then in uh, Ephesians chapter 2, uh, Paul says uh, famous words. You know this verse, Philippians, or uh, Ephesians uh, 2, 8. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not from yourselves. So we're not saved by something we do ourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. God's the one who saves us. It's by His grace uh, that He saves us, so we can't boast of having earned our way into God's favor. He owes us something. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So Paul says, inspired by God, that all of us are God's handiwork. He's created us, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. So he created us to do good things in this world. Um, he tells Adam and Eve to you know, take care of this earth, cultivate it. And we, we still have that same responsibility, take care of this world and the people in it. And so, but he's prepared us to do good works. Which, prepared, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So the role of the church is to move from filling slots as volunteers, to get people to volunteer, to fill in their slots, to move more towards helping people discover their handiwork, the unique calling God has on their lives so that they can uh, discover how God wants us to use. And then sometimes when they make that discovery, they'll say, you know what, my thing is to serve on the worship team. 
that would make Micah happy. And, uh, or my, I think my thing is to work with youth. That would make Chris Quinn pleased. Uh, so so there's, a, there's a crossover, but we want to focus less on volunteers filling slots and more on helping people discover their masterpiece. Thank you.